What is up, my friends in YouTube? Uh, this is just going to be a simple tutorial for beginners on uh, the game itself. The game has been out for close to four years now, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you have still yet to discover the wondrous possibilities of this game that is always changing, and always coming up with updates and dev streams, new characters, new weapons, stories, quests, what have you. So recently I've had some friends of mine. Um, wanting to start playing this game thanks to influences from all sides um, and one of my friends is still kind of having a little trouble understanding the game and I don't blame him the first time I played it it was pretty hard so uh, let's go over to the to the forge area and the arsenal and the mods and stuff and let's do a little summary of the tutorial shall we this is the foundry the foundry is where you start building all your things from weapons to helmets to warframes keys resources stuff like that so let's go here now as you can see it gives you a list of everything that can still be built it gives you a list of all the things that are already done being built and those that are being currently built at the moment now in progress are the ones that have already been finishing you know the Excuse my Eng English. We have a list of uh, different items that are both already built and that are being built as we speak. So obviously I've got all these things here that I can't claim because I have no platinum except for two platinums, but I can't really, um, yeah. Here we have a list of things that are already, you know, ready to build from, uh, you know, stuff that you already have, resources, credits, stuff like that. Here we have the Warframe area where it gives you uh, the list of all the parts that you need, the blueprints that you can purchase later on the uh, Arsenal area where I'll show you how to do that later. Um, you know, uh, there's a checklist on some of the things if you've already finished building some of them. And, uh, okay, there's that. So you got your weapons. Yes, I got lots of stuff here that I, like I said, I have no platinum to get it done. Same with the second, uh, secondary, same with the melee, uh, arch wings as well, uh, sentinels as well. You got your landing crafts and that's going to be in another video much later in the month, in the year, or in the decade. You got your appearance list, which is basically all the aesthetics when it comes to helmets. See, this is going to be really we have that one on. Uh, all the aesthetics, and you know, like uh, slipknot masks to even uh, war paint masks like that of the uh, Jewish band Kiss. Here you got your gear, you got your uh, three star specter, you got your one star, you got your ancient healers, you got your charger specter, your MOA, your clam, club. Uh, your roller phase specter, you got your cipher keys, and some of these actually take a couple of seconds, you know, maybe not seconds, but like about a minute or so, depending on what it is you're wanting to do. Let's see, I got a cipher right here. Now, I don't know what these things are for, I hardly ever use them, but I'm pretty sure that at some point I'm going to be using them. But this is what this area is for. Here, you got your keys, your keys for uh. The uh, derelict areas, you got your, uh, you know, your quests and your stuff like that there. I'm not good at explaining because I kind of feel like I don't want to because like one person on uh, on my comments list says that I'm as dry as a saltine cracker. So there you go. I'm super dry as a saltine cracker. Super dry and salty. Like a saltine cracker. It's like a cracker. Fucking stomach. Here you got your miscellaneous, and your miscellaneous could be anything from Exilus adapters to Forma, to your incubator power core, to your genetic code template, where you, know, you can uh, store and copy your current uh, pet's DNA onto the what seems to look like a Bluetooth USB. 
you got your Titan Extractor, which you can use to deploy on uh, several different planets to, you know, uh, forge for different uh, things that you need, like, uh, you know, Orokin cells to what have you. Okay. So, there's that right there. Now let's go to the next one. Okay, so now we're here to what seems to be the Void's Relic, or the Void Relics area. Pretty much just a simple area that gives you a list of all the relics that you've been able to uh, earn on what seems to be on certain types of levels like defense and survival. You got all your lists right here from your list to your mesos to your neos and your axes. Now, these are all played in different areas of uh, you know certain planets. Uh, on the void keep in mind that most of these are gonna be on um, you know maybe in areas that you haven't unlocked yet so you might actually need someone's help to taxi you there if you already have a friend that's already done most of the areas and you might you know ask that person to taxi you to an area if you really want to get this for example I still need the Decana kind of Prime Hilt fortunately I got two of them so this would have to be in an Axie uh, relics area where it is not unlocked or actually for me it's unlocked for most of you it's not and like I said you can always ask a friend to taxi you to that area and I will show you immediately what I mean by this please follow me into this direction or don't follow me shit I'm gonna shit if you follow me bunch of morons so well, here we are at the uh, helm of the ship now I will show you how to access this area for your relics now you just go to your console on your navigation right here with the square button and uh, it's going to give you the star map obviously you all know what the star map is so what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to hit the R1 and what the R1 does is that it opens a list of alerts on you know different things that you could do like you know help climb out or hunt for your treasure or, you know defense for credits or you know endo or even helmets that you do not have at that moment that you would like to forge like I explained earlier here you got your invasions which could be anything from corpus against the grenier you can choose anything from the corpus which is the square and you get to earn detonite injectors or the corpus to where you will be able to earn a uh, field drawn keep in mind you have to do this about uh, three times on well depending on how many times you want to do it, but yeah. Now, from there you have your syndicates. And depending on the syndicate that you have joined, I for one have it with uh, Red Veil and uh, you know, Steel Meridian. These are only so that your faction's uh, reputation goes up. You can you know, unlock anything from mod cards to you know, uh, more syndicate you know, uh, stickers, or regalia, more you, you want to call it, to, you know, anything else. And this is the area that you would want to go to. Now, let's just say, for example, uh, there's lists right here. These are obviously planets that you can unlock early in the, in the story. You got Earth, Venus, Mars. You got your Meso, which is Jupiter, Saturn. And finally, you got your Axie. And the Axie are the ones that I've mentioned earlier to where you have to have certain further planets already unlocked. Yeah, I got your Sedna, you got your Pluto, and you got your Eris. Always make sure that you've got at least most of the planets done already by that time. Because yeah, I already got most of them. I need help with this one, but no one has the ball to do it with me. Anyway, so there's that part right there. Now we shall go to the fountain. So this would be your, uh, you know, arsenal area. Now in this area, you can do anything from change the appearance of your character to the upgrades and even the Warframe of your choice if you have it unlocked already at this point. Now, like I said earlier, I would have a lot more, except I don't have the room to keep them in. Now, let us start with uh, Excalibur. Now, I've already equipped Excalibur. I have him to his next rank. But, you know, don't take my word for it when it comes to 
adding the mod cards and everything here like it seems you know, like it's supposed to be. So let's just try to start from fresh. Oh my god, I can't because it's full already as it is. Okay, now, uh, depending on the capacity level that your character or your Warframe is at, is the amount of mod card capacity that you will be able to install within that, uh, you know, configuration. Now, I, for one, have decided to do it that way. Now, you got your... You got your shield recharge, you got your flow for power max, you got your R strength and R effectiveness, you got your enemy radar, which I really don't see. I have it there. Um, you got your streamline for uh, power efficiency, you got your power duration, I got my primed continuity, I've got my intensity for power strength, and my blind rage for power strength and power efficiency. Now, I just took two mod cards off of this thing so i think i'll equip something with a six to what is showing up on the top left corner of the screen i'm at 67 and i got six to spare now if i would really like to put something really cool on it i already have i already have um you know uh Six, which will mean that I would have to equip something with a two or a four or just a six, but I don't like to use that stuff, so maybe we should just forget this area all at once because I just screwed up the whole fucking thing because I have them. Next on the, uh, you know, uh, thing, uh, uh, er, 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 because I'm dry like a saltine, we got your appearance. Now your appearance. Could be anything from your helmets that you have unlocked or forged. I got this one twice because I forgot I had it before. You can get anything from, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, suits, to, you know, skins, anything, anything you can come up with. It's right here. Now keep in mind that unfortunately, in this case, some of these helmets will have to be purchased directly from the market with actual platinum. Actual platinum meaning real money it's not something that i'm pretty sure not many of you are looking forward to but unfortunately it has to be done next off you got your excalibur skins now i'm not saying that you're all going to be using the excalibur square up all the time every time but fortunately for some of us we like the excalibur more than any other warframe so uh some Warframe skins do come free as a gift from the company, from the developers, uh, as to celebrate its uh, annual, you know, uh, longevity of the game, or uh, maybe they come up with some new uh, theme. Some of these skins uh, have to be purchased with actual platinum, like I've said before. But you know, at some point, we are lucky enough to actually receive free gifts from the, uh, the developers. Like for example, you got your Excalibur. That one was actually free. Now, the obsidian, I actually had to purchase. So, there you go. There's that there. You got your animation sets. Your animation sets also depend on the way that you want your uh, Warframe to stand. So you got this one, this one, and this one, which is exactly the same one as this one. So, <laughs> sucks. But, you know, if you want to change it up a bit with the Warframe, you can actually have some of these with a uh, 50 Platinum cost. Because even as you unlock other uh, Warframes and they have all these different sets of, uh, you know, movements, uh, animation, uh, unfortunately you can't mix and match those, which is kind of messed up if you think about it. But, you know, other, other than that, if you really do want to mix it up a bit you can just come here and uh, purchase uh, an animation set from a different warframe see okay now we're doing attachments attachments being anything from shoulder blades to knee pad not knee pads but shin pads you know uh you know stuff like that because so you get your chest plates so you got all these right here this that's nice that's pretty also uh some of these chest plates can be purchased through uh like i said the market 
uh, the alerts sometimes, depending on the, if there's uh, maybe an event or something, you know, event or so, it'll give you certain types of uh, uh, chest plates, like uh, you got your uh, Harkonar Wraith chest armor, which was an event that happened like about maybe three months ago. Uh, I'll just set this up as an example. Uh, shoulder pads also the same goes, you know, that's something also that was unlocked from, uh, from an event. And then you also got your, uh, your shin pad, you know, your shin pads right there. So, uh, these things, keep in mind, like I said, can be purchased directly through the market or as uh, an event, or sometimes if you're willing to be patient and wait, you can purchase some of these from Baro Katir every two weeks on Friday with uh, enough credits and Ducat currency from, you know, parts of uh, Prime that you don't want, couldn't trade off or couldn't sell for Platinum. Uh, you know, like uh, you got these sets right here. You know, uh, you got anything from your chest armor to your uh, shoulder plates, like you see right here. These were actually, uh, per these were purchased at the uh, Baro Katir with, I mean, with Baro Katir on uh, on the second Friday. It's every uh, two weeks. See so, how yeah, nice that looks? Pretty cool. Just matching with the, the rest of the um, color scheme that I have set up for my uh, Warframe. Most of these, like I said before, can be purchased from Baro Katir with Ducats and enough. Uh, enough credits so I recommend that you save up all your credits as much as possible as much as you can until the uh, by Friday or by weekly where Baro Katir shows up at the Strata you know at the Strata Star System Starship Enterprise Starship you know the air supply Starship whatever you want to call it uh, we built this city on rock and roll we built this city on rock and roll. You know, so you got that. Okay, and then we got your uh, Cyandanas. Cyandanas being the back part of your, not the ass, but that little, you know, wavy thing on the thing, you know, yeah. Some of these can be, you know, uh, purchased through your syndicate, events, borrow Katir, and the market. Some of them are uh, actually really kind of ugly, so that's why I'd rather not purchase them from But actually, some of them look really good. This looks gay. And um, keep in mind that a lot of them are pretty much worth it. Some of them are not so much. It's kind of gross. I think that would be something that uh, you would expect to put on Valkyr. Hmm. Actually, no, no, no. Well, anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, like uh, this one right here, it's from uh, you know, Red Veil. This was uh, also an event. This was from Baro Katir, Baro Katir, and this was an event, and this was a gift from the game developer. So, I'll just pick this one right here and just get it all nice and stuff. Yes, yes, right, yes. You got your regalias. Now, regalias are just, uh, you know, a little representations of what you're into what you've defeated most likely what you've defeated and the syndicates that you've joined so you got your alley v you got your ambulance sigil you got your uh you know uh your your uh steel meridian you've got your uh he hexis you got your red veil you got your sigil from pseudocephalon you got your conclave uh and here this is where it starts becoming more you know this was a gift from the developers for people that have been with the game for the three years. It was a three-year cycle, which I thank them for that cool gift because it's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool enough to be a, a tattoo. You got the Grustrag, the Grustrag sigil, which is uh, kind of like the death mark for uh, for the for the uh, for the Shadow Stalker, but this the Grustrag is uh, Grenier actually. They're uh, they're the Grenier version of um, of the uh, Shadow Stalker, and they come in threes. You get this when you defeat them. 
Uh, you get your hyena, like I said. Uh, you get these through defeating your, uh, you know, the bosses on different levels. Some of these, like I said, are gifts from uh, from the uh, from the developers. You got your killer the theme sigil. You got your, uh, you know, elephant. You got your uh, leprechaun. You got your 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 Leonard Skinnerds. You got your uh, syndicates right here again. You got your oh, this one's actually a for uh, the level that you're currently at. Like right now, I'm at a, you know 13. Uh, and yeah, basically, you know, like right here, you got your stalker. You've been marked by the stalker for death. Uh, same goes for the Zanuka. You're also marked by the Zanuka hunter. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I personally, when it comes to the Excalibur, I love putting the Stalker sigil on them because let's just, I mean, come on, seriously, everybody knows that the Stalker is an Excalibur. Okay, so you also got your back. Now, keep in mind, the only thing that I do give advice uh, for some of you is that uh, if you are joined with one syndicate, it could be anything from the Hexes, from the Red Veil, uh, Cephalon Suda, et cetera, et cetera, uh, always make sure that along with your favorite, you know, sigil, you also put a sigil representing the faction that you're with. This is the Red Veil sigil. I put it on the side because it looks cool like a tattoo and stuff, so you got that tattoo stuff. Now, also, you got your emblems. Now, unfortunately, in some cases, uh, some of you don't have clans or don't have a clan to join. Uh, but when you do, your clan leader will sometimes uh, have purchased, uh, you know, a little clan emblem representing the clan that they're in. Uh, it will not always look like this. If uh, the clan leader or the clan that you're in already has a design, uh, the design will come out exactly as it was originally designed. You got your alliance emblem, which represents the alliance of the clan that you're with. And then you got your uh, regular you know, uh, events, or, or uh, you can even earn certain types of uh, emblems from, uh, from the uh, trials, or as I like to call them, eight-man raid. Uh, you can earn them at the end of uh, every, every run that you make. Uh, I don't know if everybody gets one, but you are guaranteed to have at least an emblem from that. So you got that done, you got your sigils done. Uh, you got your color schemes. And your color schemes, uh, it could be these regular ones. Unfortunately, sometimes you do have to purchase the uh, the color scheme palettes. Like uh, these, these are just a given for everybody who's, uh, well, not everybody, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of us have started the game since the beginning and most of these colors are already locked. Oddly enough, mine was not. I guess that's not my case. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, you have these colors that come automatically with the game. Uh, some of them are also, like I said, events. Uh, they're given to you from certain events. Uh, you got the Easter, you got Baro Katir also takes color palettes as well, so it's something that you can save up on. Uh, PlayStation has its own, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, exotic? No. Ex exquisite? No. Uh, uh, that one thing that just belongs to that one thing. Yeah, that one. Yeah. You got your shamrock, which was a, it was a tay of the Irish, you know, the little leprechauns. So you can go ahead and color your warframe into a green leprechaun. Make sure you follow him into the other side of the rainbow for your pot of gold. And like I said, some of these are, uh, you know, some of them, unfortunately, I say unfortunately because, you know, it's, I wish I could just get them. I wish they didn't cost so much, but I guess the game developers have to make money somehow. Uh, you could purchase them directly. Uh, also, keep in mind you cannot purchase colors individually. You have to get the entire scheme. You can't just uh, unlock one by one and be like, well, I just want maybe like uh, this red or this red or this red or this red or this red. Maybe this white or this gray or this one gray, this one, this one, this one, this one, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you'll, you'll actually have to purchase them. You got your Corpus colors, you know, you got your Daybreak, your Dojos, your Eximus. Uh, Dojo, the, the color for Dojo is basically the colors that you earn through drops of that one color that you're going for. So, um, 
yeah, just keep in mind that you got that. Now, sometimes you want to go to random colors. Uh, at this point, I kind of don't want to. I like the way my um, Excalibur looks right now. But what the heck, let's do it for the little people. Now, you got your weird looking colors right here. You got your this, you got your that. See, sometimes they look actually pretty cool. Oh man, it actually looks pretty cool. Gosh darn it. I might have to keep this one. Well, no, I can't. I need to show all of you the the uh, possibilities of what you can do. You got your randoms. If you're too lazy to do it yourself, you got your randoms right here. See? Ew. 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 Uh, you might want to stick with the first one that comes up. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks terrible. No! The first one was good. This one. This one looked awesome. Except, I don't think most of it. Actually, no. This wasn't the first one. Oh my god, did you see the last one? Holy crap, that was ugly. Ugh. Or you could just reset it to its original color. Same. Or go back to doing this. Okay, there you go. But personally, I just rather not. No. No, I. No. no. And for now, I'm going to be leaving this tutorial with. Uh, you know, I was actually inspired by the last color scheme that I saw, so I just added a little <clears throat> white lines to the. You know, to the mix. It actually adds a little bit more definition to the character, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so that's it for now. Um, at least for this part Ugh. and then we got your yeah you got your kubros and you got your kvats and you see you you need an egg and you need an incubator which would be in the for you know in the foundry uh, you got to ensure that you have an extra slot open and you do not have active pets so you have to put them away in stasis uh, you only get two types you, I'm not saying you can only have two you can have as many as you want as long as you got the free space now if you want to purchase more stasis chambers they're only 10 platinum each now that's actually pretty fair at some point and uh, is it worth it maybe do you need it not really but like I said you know everybody has their you know yeah and here we got your mod station now your mod station uh, oops you weren't supposed to see that and your mod station um <clears throat> you have your list of all the mods that you've unlocked and see i even got some for uh well actually you got your augments now augments are mod cards designed specifically for that warframe uh, you got your Saren mods, you got your Zephyr, you got your Ember, your Lokis, uh, you got your Necros, you got your Ash, your Sarens, your Mesas, and stuff. And some of them I have not even unlocked. But it's always good to get them. Now, unfortunately, not all of these are, you know, uh, some of them can be purchased through different things, like uh, Ceph not Cephalon, but uh, Cephalon. Um, some of those uh, mods can be purchased through the syndicates that you have joined. Now, let's just say, for example, uh, I got the Red Veil ones, and uh, some of them are right here. Some of them are right here, Morty. But, um, yeah, I mean, it all depends on the syndicate that you've joined. Now, for example, uh, I want mod cards to go along with my... Uh, with my Excalibur, unfortunately, uh, the factions that I'm with don't have any. The only one that has the Excalibur would be Hexus, Arbiters of Hexus. Now, you've got your Naros, you've got your Limbo, you've got your Mirage, you've got your Nyx, Stevie Nyx, you've got your Wukongs. And every syndicate has holds different mods for your work. Now, you can go ahead and you know maybe 
come up with your own uh, god damn it I'm not supposed to show you those okay um, for that you might want to go to duplicates now when it comes to duplicates the best thing you could do is pick a card any card and it gave me a piece of crap hooray a piece of crap not exactly what I was looking for, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, you also got your, um... Get your different card things right here. Now, basically, what this area does is that it, uh, helps you... Make the cards more efficient. Uh, it amplifies whatever effect the card has. Like, let's just say, for example, uh, you can get faster recharge. You can get, uh stronger shields maybe even more health uh you know abilities like uh you know your agility goes up your speed goes up your uh your powers last longer stuff like that and in order for that to happen you have to set these little dots right here on the bottom and uh right out there on the top right corner i didn't know i had 43,000. oh cool uh that's the amount of endo and right there in that little box is going to tell you the amount of endo and credits that you're allowed to spend in order to make uh, in order to make the card stronger, more efficient. But I'm not going to do it right now because I really don't need that card. Anyways, and uh, yeah, so far that's just a quick tutorial of this area. And uh, here, you what you've got here is that you got this. Well. If I had a cyst on the side of uh, my neck, I could go in there and show you what it does. But if any of you have already unlocked the second dream quest... This would be the area for your operator. Your operator is who you are. It controls your Warframe. Your Warframe is a puppet. And uh, this little dude right here is the operator, the driver, the conductor. And uh, these are just merely abilities that you possess at the end of the second dream. It gives you a choice to pick one of them. Some of them are for offense, defense, support, and attack. The Mududai is actually more attack than anything else, but unfortunately I made the bad mistake of getting rid of the weapon that was holding the lens for that one. So right now I'm doing this piece of crap right here, which is actually more support. Uh, every time that you have either a Warframe or weapon or even companion with that lens, you will be finding certain locations on every mission or you know map that gives you the opportunity to pick it up and start earning points towards your, uh, your ability. Uh, uh, I like to maybe just uh, put in a little bit here you see, that's, uh, that's so that I could uh, restore energy. And, um, yeah, so I'll use that for a minute. And there you go. So it's a little bit stronger now. And now I shall go. This is not the best tutorial. I am not a professional. Please keep that in mind. I'm not one of those, I spend every waking moment behind the, behind the console or the, tower the PC or the whatever you want to call it uh, I'm not a professional I'm not a professional tutorial uh, dude so I did the best I can hope you like it hope you enjoyed it uh, I'm not expecting any likes anymore and I'm not expecting any more comments so uh, if you do feel you want to drop a like drop a like if you want to leave a comment leave a comment and to be honest with you I don't care if it's good or bad all publicity is good I don't care so uh, this has been Red Devil, a.k.a. Andy Gamer Chanel, signing off, bitches! <laughs>